Buying your first turntable or even upgrading from that retro record muncher can seem like a bit of a quagmire of confusing terms and indecipherable model numbers. But you can chill. I've got your back. Here are my Audio Llamas top five budget turntables. We're going to start off with the cheapest first, and my first choice is set to cause a little bit of controversy. To begin with, the Lenko L8367 isn't really even that good of a turntable. Doesn't really seem like the best way to introduce a best turntable by the sounds of it actually, does it? Right, so what exactly do I mean by that? Well, the Lenko has no frills. It's got no anti-skate. It's got no way to change the cartridge. It's got no adjustment of any kind, but it does sound all right. And it'll sound a hell of a lot better than your budget all-in-one retro systems. And for 80 pounds, it makes, I think, a really good budget buy. One of the criticisms aimed at the Lenko turntable is that it's a bit of a record muncher and it'll plow through your vinyl in months. I actually measured the downforce and it tracks in at about 3.5 grams. I was actually quite pleasantly surprised by that. It's on the heavier side, but it's not going to destroy your records anytime soon. For the money, this turntable is great, but you got to bear in mind that it is at the bottom of the budget, so you do get what you pay for. If you want to get a proper hi-fi vinyl sound, then you need to look at number two. Let's move on to number two and the first of our proper turntables, that being the Project Essential 2. Coming in at £209, the Project Essential 2 is a formidable turntable and it comes with all the adjustments you'd expect. It's got an adjustable counterweight, an anti-skate, an upgradable cartridge and a reliable motor. Perhaps most importantly, for the amount of money the Project Essential 2 costs, the sound from this turntable is fantastic. The pre-installed Autophone OM5E cartridge is a reasonable budget cartridge with a decent soundstage and reasonable level of detail. The bass does however sometimes get a little bit lost and mushy, so when that stylus is ground out I would recommend upgrading it to the OM10E cartridge which has a much more detailed and fuller sound and it's only about £10 more than the OM5 when you come to upgrade. The Essential 2 is a fully manual turntable. That means if you're going to actually change the speed, you've got to get hands on and move the belt from one cog to another cog on the gearing of the motor. One thing to bear in mind here is that the Essential 2 does not have a built-in phono stage. That means either your amplifier will have to have one or you'll need an external one. There is also a model of the turntable called the Project Essential 2 Phono USB that has a built-in preamp and a USB output and I think it costs around £299. The Project Essential 2 is a brilliant minimalist turntable and there's a reason why it's won so many awards. It also comes in a few different colours, so you've got the black for 210 it also comes in white and red for another £10 on top of that. Right, rolling on in at number 3, the other brand to dominate the UK turntable market is homegrown UK brand Riga Research. Their RP1 is an iconic deck with a similarly minimalist design to Project Essential 2 turntable. While I don't feel that the standard RP1 offers a whole lot that the uh, Project Essential 2 doesn't, with the upgraded performance pack priced at £300 for the entire deck, the RP1 becomes a seriously good turntable. The upgrade pack comes with a superior belt, which apparently is a thing. It also comes with a much better uh, slip mat and the much better Rega Bias 2 cartridge, which actually should make a tremendous difference to the sound quality of the turntable. Like the Essential 2, the RP1 likes you to get a little bit hands-on and to change the speed you've got to pop the platter off, change the belt to the different cog and then pop the platter back on. On the other hand though, the Riga has a much weightier sound and often comes off a little bit more exciting. The flip side is however that you do lose a little bit of overall detail that the project comes out on top with. Again, like most high-end turntables, the RP1 doesn't come with a built-in phono stage, so you will need to make sure your amp's got one. As always, if you can't decide between the two, it's always best to have a listen to the two side by side if you can, and make up your own mind when you've had a listen to them. Right now, we're in at number four, and it's time for something a little bit more feature-packed, the Audio-Technica AT LP120. Priced at 275 English doubloons, the ATLP120 is a formidable turntable. While the other record players on this list have all been belt driven, the ATLP120 is a direct drive turntable. It also has 
pitch control, it has a reverse button, it has a built-in stroboscope, it's got a target light, that's what I meant, the target light. This makes it an ideal turntable for anyone wanting to get their feet dirty doing any kind of DJing or mixing. All the expected tone arm adjustments are there, such as an anti-skate and an adjustable counterweight. It also has a removable head shell, so if you want to try out different cartridges, it should make it a hell of a lot easier. All those things considered though, the Audio-Technica doesn't skimp out on sound either. It might not have quite the punching power to come up against the best from Project and Riga, but it does still have a brilliant sound from the Audio-Technica 1895E cartridge. To begin with, I suspect most users will be totally happy with it, and there's nothing stopping you in the future upgrading to a better cartridge for a much better sound. Coming from more of a DJing background, the Audio-Technica has a built-in phono preamp that you can also switch on and off, which is ideal if, say, you've got a higher quality external phono preamp or your amplifier does. Personally, I prefer the clean lines of Rega and Project turntables, but if you like that DJ aesthetic and certainly if you're going to use those features and like to tweak a little bit, this could very much be the turntable for you. Drum roll, please. We've arrived at the grand finale of number five, the best turntable on my list, the Project Debut Carbon. At 325 quid, I realise the price is starting to creep upwards a little bit, but at this kind of money, the turntables that you can buy start becoming seriously good, and the Project Debut Carbon is probably one of the best. Again, we're back to clean, beautiful minimalism. What really sets the Debut Carbon apart from the other turntables on this list though, is that carbon fibre tone arm and the brilliant Autophon 2M Red cartridge, which has an absolutely fantastic sound. It's got a full wide sound stage, a detailed sound, and it's very punchy and in your face. As an added bonus, the Project Debut Carbon comes in every colour you can think of. It looks absolutely gorgeous in pink. A kick to the RP1, changing the speed requires you to remove the platter and manually move the belt. However, if that's not quite your bag, you could always try the Carbon Esprit model for £100 more, and it comes with a built-in speed box and acrylic platter. While being a relatively inexpensive record player, the debut Carbon DC gives plenty of scope for future investments if, for instance, you want to upgrade to a better cartridge. The deck is definitely up to the task. An easy upgrade might be the Autophon 2M Blue, as it only requires a change of stylus rather than the full cartridge. For me, the debut Carbon is somewhat of a holy grail for cost-effective and absolutely fantastic sounding turntables before you start getting into really, really expensive bits of equipment. That isn't to say that spending a little bit more won't get you even better sound quality, but I thought for the purpose of this video that spending more than say 325 quid might be going a little bit too far. So that brings me to the end of my top five budget turntables. If you think I've made terrible choices, then tell me in the comments. If you think I've made okay choices, then give me a like. If you think I should do more revision, then also give me a like. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see a video on how to store your records, click up here. If you want to see a video on the top five upgrades and tweaks for your turntable, click up here. Click down there to subscribe to see more brilliant Audio Llama videos. And thank you very much for watching. You've been a lovely audience. Ciao.